Okay, I always say the problem with reading is understanding what you've read. And certainly the first thing I would do is try to read through it and understand that. And I will be talking through the key, by the way. So it says the second of three numbers of a mean proportional between the other two. Let me read that again. The second of three numbers is a mean proportional between the other two. So let me write that down for you. And this is going to be, let's see, A, B. They're talking about mean proportional, right? B, C. Right? So I'm going to say the three numbers are A, B, and C, where the second number is B. All right? And the third number, yeah, and then they're really labeling that. And the second of three numbers is mean proportional between the other two. Uh, the third, well, C is the third. So the third number, what does it say? The third number exceeds the sum of the other two. Well, the other two is just A plus B. It exceeds the sum of the other two by 20. And the sum of the first and third, well, the first and third would be A plus C. Let me keep reading it. The sum of the first and third exceeds three times the second by four. All right, so I want to see if I've, I've met milestones in the problem. And some of the milestones in the problem was, did they write that down? Did they write this down? They did. By the way, this depends on the letters I'm choosing. I, I already discussed that we're choosing A, P, and C to be the numbers. First, second, third. All right. Did I write this down? Yeah, it's right here. Did I write this down? Sort of. It's over here. So let me write that down for you. So I'll write this over here. It's A over B is B over C. All right? So the, the problem with this is you're looking at it and you're wondering, how am I going to solve that system? And one thing I would recommend you do is, you know, kind of looking at it is to simplify this quotient over here. Right? So what would you get? You'd get AC equals B squared. <coughs> and then what? Well, i got to look at this and... And think now. And let me take a look at that. Well, you know what? I'm going to look at these two equations now. I want to see if I can do something with that. And let's write that down. Let's write down like A plus B minus C equals minus 20. And let me write the other equation down. That would be A minus 3B plus C is equal to 4. Well, I guess I could add these two equations together, right? And what would you get? You would get A minus 2B is equal to minus 16. I'm sorry, 2A, right? A plus A is 2A. Sorry about that. And minus 2B. I'm going to divide both sides by 2. And you get A minus B equals minus 8. Well, you know what? Things are getting better now. I'm going to write this down now. A is equal to B minus 8. All right? That's not so bad to write down. And I got to... You know, wonder what I have. And I, again, I'm going to outline some milestones I have here. You know, th this, this might be important to me. And this might be important to me. All right? So I'm going to look around for something else to come up with. And certainly, it looks like I might want to get, you know, something to do with B's and C's and A's, right? Let's take a look at another form and see if we can do it. All right? I'm going to sort of erase... This business here it led there. I know that much. And I want to keep looking at this. And again, we're looking at two equations now. We're looking at these two over here. And I want to see if I can write something else down. Let me just see. I guess what I could do is um, I'm going to multiply this equation by minus 1 and add it to the other equation. 
and you would get minus 4b plus 2c equals 24. Let me just make sure I did that right. You know, so minus a plus a is nothing. Minus b minus 3b is minus 4b. And c plus c is 2c. And 20, it looks good. And let's just solve for c. Before I do that, I'm going to divide by 2. So c would equal 12 plus 2b. I'm going to put a circle on indicating it's important. All right? <coughs> oh, boy, what am I going to do now? Well, I'm going to sort of erase my tracks. I'm kind of done with this. So much else I can do about that. But I've got to start thinking about what I'm going to do now. And what I'm going to do, believe it or not, is I'm going to take this equation now here, and I'm going to substitute that in there and see what happens. So what's A? A is B minus 8. What's C? C is 12 plus 2B and B squared. All right? And again, I got an equation I want unknown now. I'm going to multiply it out. And let's see what happens. You get 12B plus 2B squared minus, well, let's see, 80 and 16, 96 minus 16B equals B squared. I don't like using the letter B, by the way, because it looks like the letter 6, I mean, the numeral 6 sometimes. But I think I got something here. I think I get B squared. And then what do I get? I get minus 4B minus 96 is equal to 0. And I think I can factor that guy. B, B, looks like 8 and 12. The reason being 8 times 12 is 96, and they differ by 4. So I'm going to put minus 12 plus 8. So let's write this down. So B is minus 8, or B is 12. Okay, I have to write down three numbers, though. And what are the three numbers going to be A, B, and C? So let's write this down. A, B, and C. And let's just do the easy one first. I'm going to say 12 is the easy one. What would A be? Well, that's over here. And what's 12 minus 8? It's 4. What would C be? It's right over here. So it would be 12 plus 2 times 12 is 24. It would be 36. I'm going to commit to this as one answer. I'm going to put another answer down now. And I said B could also be minus 8, right? Well, what's A going to be? Minus 8 minus 8 is minus 16. And what's C going to be? Well, it's going to be 12 plus minus 16, which is minus 4. Now, mistakes happen. Sometimes you misread something. Sometimes you do bad arithmetic. But let's check the key. So in the key, they say minus 16, minus 8, minus 4. And they say 4, 12, and 36. Working as advertised, which is good news. Thank you.